Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Wednesday the 22nd of September 2021. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to use the Universal Tarot for today's reading. Let's see what the cards have to say about Wednesday and what the day is going to look like. So I'm going to choose my three cards and ask the tarot what it wants to share. I just want to knock on these a few times. Okay, so let's see what the cards want you to know. So first we've got the Knave of Swords. That looks like the Knight of Swords. Oh, then we have the Two of Wands in reverse again. We had that yesterday and it was also in reverse. That's super interesting. And then we have the Empress. Okay, so the Knight cards are cards which indicate that the energy is somewhat imbalanced. It's a court card. The court cards go from the page to the knave or the knight and to the king and queen. The page is totally inexperienced and he doesn't really know what he's doing. And in the element of swords, he hasn't got the right information. But he's willing to learn and he kind of, he's aware that he doesn't have all the answers. The king, on the other hand, he makes really good decisions. He's educated, he's experienced, and he makes fabulous decisions and he's aware of that. The knave here, the knight, and he looks a bit like a jock here. He's overly confident, especially when he doesn't have all the right information to back that up. He rushes into things without really knowing what's going on. He thinks he has all the answers, but he really doesn't. <laughs> so the, the Knave of Swords is a card that, so it, it kind of indicates that things are a little bit imbalanced, but that sometimes that's a good thing because sometimes if you don't have all the answers and you don't have all the experience, sometimes you need to kind of use a little bit of bravado to get things done and to give yourself the confidence and to believe in yourself, despite the fact that you haven't got all the necessary qualifications or that, that you don't exactly know how to deal with the situation so that you can deal with it regardless, because sometimes you have no choice. And sometimes you have to kind of fake it to make it. But on the other hand, it's a warning. It says that if you rush into things and you think you are the bee's knees and you can do no wrong and everyone should bow down and worship you because you are, I don't know, seven foot tall and you have blonde hair, then you're going to get a rude awakening. So the knave of swords here today is saying that if you're if you feel like you're beyond reproach and you have all the answers, then it's really likely that you're wrong about that and that you may want to do a little bit more research before you launch into a tirade or you may want to read the contract really carefully before you sign it, not just assuming and thinking, oh, who would want to harm me? Of course, I'm, you know, the best. <laughs> then please do read the contract first. Do your research find the necessary information to make a good decision. Ask for help. The King of Swords is around somewhere, so is the Queen, and they have been there and done that. So it would really benefit you to, to use all of the resources that are available to you. Other people, the internet, books, looking at things very, very carefully, going over them with a fine tooth comb, and not just going on assumption and whim, and believing in your own grandness. This is kind of a card that, yeah, is about grandiosity and kind of thinking, I am much bigger than I actually am. I am much more influential than I really am. And with this kind of card, it indicates that if you don't see things clearly, and if you don't make a deliberate effort, you could potentially fall on your face. Now, the next card, is the two of ones. And this is a young person who's really starting out and he's saying, I believe in something and I really care about a certain aspect of my life, whether it's myself and my future and I really wanna invest in that, or I care about the, the, the town that I live in and I wanna make a positive contribution, or I really care about this planet, I wanna go explore it and see what it has to offer me. I basically, I want to learn. And I'm going to create my own opportunities to find ways forward so that I can live my life in a way that I want to live it. It's my life. I'm going to take charge of it and I'm going to make the most of it. It's a really nice can-do attitude. And the two of wands really indicates a wonderful new beginning, 
that's based on your hopes and dreams, your desires. And when you start anything with that kind of authenticity, it's really likely to lead you somewhere positive. Or if it isn't all positive, it's certainly going to teach you something. So here, this symbol that drew my attention yesterday, and it draws my attention today as well, because your higher self, so the white flowers here, your higher self is really busy at the moment trying to inform you. And it's saying, you know what, it's important that you do invest in yourself. It's okay to do something that's just your own thing that you do independently. And you don't have to ask permission. And you have something special that sits inside of you. That if you use it, if you make the most of it, you're going to be able to get a great sense of fulfillment. And also you'll make a really positive contribution to the world in general. So it's really important that you honor your own desires and your dreams. And the red here is passion and certainty and something that fires you up. And that, that inner fire that says, come on, just do it. Don't worry about the fear and the, thing that, the things that usually hold you back. Go for it. The card is in reverse, so we've got that higher self speaking to you and combining and meeting the inner kind of passions and needs. And again, that's a confirmation that you have your dreams and your desires for a reason. They're not just arbitrary whims that you can't listen to or that you should dismiss. They're there for a real purpose. The doorway is right here, so there are opportunities for you to move forward. But the world may seem to be upside down. You may not understand everything. And that relates to the Knave of Swords. So if you do have a passion, if you do want to get going with something new, then please inform yourself. And even if things don't seem to make sense, that is not a reason to stop dead in your tracks. So this was a bit of a warning saying, do your research and don't be overly confident. But this card is encouraging you to act, to move forward, despite the fact that you don't know any everything. And the good thing is you you become aware of this and you're able to fill the gaps and those things that you aren't aware of. You're able to find the right information and to make your way forward. Because the Empress is the third card in the Major Arcana and she is all about new beginnings. We've got Venus here, the planet of love, beauty, creativity. And... In astrology, when Venus is direct, it's a, it's a great time to kind of get creative and to start a new business and a new project. When it's in retrograde, that's when I really look at uh, new ventures, especially if someone is planning something like a wedding or, or um, registering the company or anything like that. It's not a good time when Venus is retrograde. So the Empress is a card that says, do you know what? Venus is moving forward full steam ahead, you're really, the, the green dress here, you're very clear about who you are and what you want and what you're doing, and you're also being guided by spirit. So we've got a similar message being delivered very differently to this symbol here, but it's, it's really, um, it's, it's, it underlines the fact that you are in a good place, and if things don't make sense, get the right information, but go for it. And don't spend the whole day researching. Take what you need and then take action. Look at the situation from a reasonable perspective and make it happen for yourself. Because the Empress is also about new beginnings and new life and bringing something wonderful into the world and making the world better. She's always surrounded by beautiful um, environments. Often she's got pomegranates on her dress. So it's about an abundance and it's about love and sharing the love that you have within with the world. So it's quite interesting because there are a couple of boxes you have to tick. You know, sometimes things don't make sense and the message is, well, just power through anyway. But it's more complicated than that today. It, first of all, make sure that you've got the right perspective on yourself first and foremost and that you're not barging into situations without really thinking. Once you've done that, use your ability to learn, be teachable and find what it is that you need, especially when things aren't quite clear because there are several opportunities available to you and use the inner certainty to 
seize those opportunities. And when you do, you're really able to start something fabulous, which is going to enrich your life and make it more beautiful. And what I mean by that is, if you're in a situation, if you're living somewhere where you really don't want to be, and you get this fabulous opportunity to relocate into an area that you do like, then that's a way of making your life more positive and more enjoyable. If you have the opportunity to use your, your passion for design, and you don't know exactly how that's going to happen, you speak to someone about it and they say, well, actually, hang on a minute, we need a designer. Why don't you come work for us? Then you have an opportunity to make the world more beautiful, the way this card says you can, and you can make your own life better because you're employed, you're able to create an income for yourself and you can create freedom for yourself. So these new beginnings lead somewhere. We've got this path here leading off into the forest and into the light, which is kind of like greenish yellow. So it's a place that is going to make you truly happy. Not someone else, not your granny or your aunt. It makes you happy because it's a goal that's just yours. The green is really about something that is uh, an authentic part of you. So you're living your own life purpose and you're not trying to emulate someone else's. Now, change and new beginnings can be scary, but the Empress is really loving and supportive and kind. So it's almost like the universe is holding your hand and it's saying, hey, don't be afraid. And if you are afraid, certainly don't overcompensate by blowing yourself up and pretending to be something you're not. Be authentic, ask for help, it's fine. You are supported and you will be able to navigate your way through all of the confusion and the fog and you'll be able to find your way. But try and stay humble or humble is a, is a very loaded word. Try and realize that it's there's no shame in ha not having all the answers and you don't need to um, put on some sort of a facade just because you've had to say i don't know there's no shame in saying i don't know it actually is a wonderful opportunity to learn something new and then to move in a particular direction so let yourself be guided and i'm getting that it's guidance from the universe yes absolutely that's on your side but i think other people are really important today because we've got all these characters here and there will be different people appearing in your life who can um, pave the way or help you out or help you navigate or set new goals or go in a different direction which you may not have been aware of you may not have known that a particular path is available to you and it only becomes apparent through connecting with others court card is one two is three and another three is six. And six is a temporary opportunity that appears in your life. And because we had this card yesterday, it's an extension of yesterday's energy. It continues and you still have this opportunity to, to begin something loving and new in your life. But it will close eventually. So please make the most of this day because it's not going to be there forever. You know, another day may be about... Um, making sense of your circumstances and dealing with problems and getting them out of your life. Or it could be about new relationships or it could be about, you know, a million different things. But here you've got an opportunity to bring more love in your life, into your life, whichever form that takes for you, whether it's a new relationship or it's a new business or it's, it's, it's a move or a new job or a new way of looking at yourself. It, it, there are many, many ways of making a fresh start for yourself. And the only warning here is not to miss out on that opportunity by thinking you are it. <laughs> and you've got nothing left to learn ever. <laughs> you do. We all do. We all have things to learn. And that's the beauty of the process. So have a wonderful day. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, click on book your reading to order your reading with me. I use the tarot and astrology and numerology and my intuition in my personal readings. And if you have a big decision to make, uh, or if you want to start something new and you want to see when the best time is or you want to know what your strengths and weaknesses are or you want to get some clarity or certain character defects that you've got that make your life difficult and what you can do about those to get rid of them or to work with them or to transform them, then please do get in touch with me for a personal reading because we can look at all of those things via the astrology and the other divination systems. They're really fabulous. 
So I hope you have a wonderful day. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and share the video online. Enjoy Wednesday and I'll speak to you tomorrow.